Dear learners, today I am going to talk to you on science, technology and human products. As you are aware that there is a great interrelationship between the advancements which are being made by the scientific and technological advancements with that of the human rights. Today, I am just going to introduce you as to what is the relationship, rather interrelationship between the science, technology and human rights. First of all, I will be starting with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights 1948, wherein Article 40, 27 provides for to share the benefits of the science. Similarly, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights under Article 15 also provides to share the benefits of the science. Now once we are having the rights to share the benefits of the science, but is it true that always we are sharing the benefits of the science and technology? No. Now, how we can say that we are not sharing the benefits. This is simply because the science is not only productive, but it is counterproductive. We are using as well as misusing and abusing the scientific and technological advancements. There are various ways wherein we can say, wherein we can see that the science and technology, these two are making impact not only morality but ethically also. There are ways where we can find that science and technology is having a great impact on the human being. The human dignity as such is also involved there. If we see as to what is the impact on the human dignity of science and technology then I can give you the example of sex determination. Simply this was made for the benefit of the human being, to know the health of the child in the home. But what we are doing, we are just abusing this in the name of the female fetus life. Why? These are the things which we have to discuss upon. Again, if I see that whether the scientific advancements are making impact on the human being or not, then another thing which we see is that related to the euthanasia. What are the positive and negative impacts? Whether this right to die is to be a fundamental right? The Supreme Court has given different views on this. Right to die is related or included in right to life. Article 21 of the Constitution which provides that no person shall be deprived of his life and personal liberty except according to procedure established by law. And that life and personal liberty has been so liberally interpreted and expanded by the Supreme Court so as to include number of rights. And in this Article 21, we can also see a pollution-free environment is a part of the right to life and personal liberty. Again, the information technology, which is developing day by day, therein we see that information technology, that is right to privacy, whether it is interfering in the human being's life, yes, it is. But how far we are not responsible for this, this has to be seen. Another thing that related to the science technology with that of the human rights is the biotechnology. The biology, the medicine, as well as we can find this in the human cloning. Now, today, the world is witnessing the great empathy that is of coronavirus. And in that thing, we see that the vaccine has to be developed. Though, the scientific advancement here is for the benefit of the common man, benefit of the entire society. But do we find that upon whom that experiments are to be made? The human being. So we have to see and we have to make a balance also here, whether by introducing that vaccine to combat coronavirus on human being, then we have to use it positively. That's all.